That was fun. <laughs> Good warm up. I think right now, um, obviously next goal is 105, and I mean I can you can get a 104 on this patch, like a higher 104. I don't think my gold splits are good enough to get a 104 right now, but I mean it's not like I'm doing all the stuff you can do and doing it well. Also, I didn't practice um, windmill jump, so. I said I was going to. Okay, we'll see how, how the first time going through it works, and if it if it doesn't, then we'll back things up a little bit and warm up again. If I had like a lot more time to do runs, it'd be just good. Do like a warm up run, see where the problems are, stop and like practice those levels for a bit and, and stay warmed up. I'm not saying warmed up, but you know what I mean? I don't know why I jumped so high. Um, you know, get, get warmed up in those levels that you're struggling with and. Um, But since I'm only streaming usually like three hours. <laughs> I feel like I have to kind of make the most of it each time. I can't just keep doing stuff over again. I am starting to build up that muscle memory of skipping the cutscenes at the beginning, which is good, but also... Uh, eventually we're not going to need to do that, I guess. I don't know. I'm curious what this big update is that's going to be put on the speedrunner branch. If that gets released while I'm uh, streaming, I'll probably take some time to look at that. Depending on how runs are going. If I'm, if I'm like really locked in and doing runs, I'll just look at it after stream. Um, but if I'm struggling a bit and need like a brain break, probably not a, a bad way to get one. I'm curious what the um, patch is gonna be though, but we'll see. I don't, I don't get any inside information. Thirty minutes is thirty minutes. Thirty seconds is pretty good for the level. Thirty minutes is pretty bad for the level, I would say. Um, I don't think I've gotten thirty minutes on this level yet, but on the pace I'm going in, I, I could probably get there at some point. We're also at day two of. Um me removing Twitter from my homepage and not looking at it. It's not even like a social media purge or anything like that. It's just like I found the fact that it was there and the fact that I felt like I had to check it a lot was leading to me just looking at it way too much. So now it's less the fact that it's not it's not a been removed from my phone and it's not impossible for me to do it and I've not like stop I not like um what's the word? I'm not like saying I can't go on it. I just had never felt the need to go on it since I removed it from my homepage. I feel like I've been <laughs> honestly just a little bit happier. I feel like I've been doing uh better. But it has just been like it's not just recently been bad, but It does feel like I just have more time for things now. Ooh, excuse me.
Time for the jump everybody's been waiting for. I think if I'm ever behind in the race split, uh, I will go for this jump during the race version of it, but uh, otherwise, probably not. Carrot Ranch is... Carrot Ranch is what it is, I guess. I like it, but, um... I'm bad at it. Hey, you know. Already better than last stream, or as good as last stream. I, I think I got to this level, like, five... I did, I did five or six runs, and they all got to this split, and I think I only got through it once without dying once like it was it was pretty bad which is not good at this level but i usually get it at least more often than that i flipped a coin and it be tails every single time somehow so it was more impressive that i actually messed them up than if i hadn't also i forgot to split but we're ahead might have been a gold split, actually. It, actually, it should have been a gold split. So, oops. Not a big deal. The, the difference for the gold split for that's going to be on the level of like five seconds. Uh, so, if I really cared, I could. I've never actually gone back when I missed splits and like figured out what the timing was for them. I feel like I should if I get a good run and I miss some splits on it. That was a nice little skip jump there. Also, like, multi somehow ended up in the cannon still. I, like, flew by the cannon. Just zoomed right by it, and it still counted. There's just so much stuff that can go wrong on the run. And most deaths in this game are pretty brutal. There's a, there's a few levels where it's fairly friendly, but... Not even friendly, but like, if you die right next to a checkpoint, obviously, it's not going to be as bad as if you die at the very end of the first floor of, uh... King Rat's Lair. Oh, that should have been a death. Alrighty then. I meant to do a full jump and I did a short jump, but I was already pulling back like a little, like a, a bigger jump. So, I was maneuvering myself into a pit. Eight seconds flat. Eight seconds. Okay, I've apparently just been messing everything up. I said my time on the first level of Carrot Fields was 30 minutes long, and then I also just called that eight seconds, so... In case you're wondering how much of a brain I have, the answer is no. What? Oh, I, I mashed, um... the leaderboard button too fast. I didn't hear the audio cue that went off when the uh, level select came up, because there's a bit of a delay between trying to enter the cannon and actually showing you the levels. So that's why usually when you mash Y, you aren't really punished for it by the leaderboard randomly popping up, but that time around, I just didn't hear it go off, so I just kept mashing aimlessly. <laughs> yeah, it's another 30 seconds. It's either that or like a 1301. Or 3001 rather. No. 2987, cool. You can usually tell pretty well what time it's going to be, but I, I don't look at the time as much while I'm doing runs. When I do ILs, I usually am like staring straight at it. Well, it depends on the IL. Like for um, scavenger hunt, at the very end you're just going in a straight line, so you have time to just look straight at it. 
This is another thing where it's easy to overmash. And jump like that. I didn't mean to do it, but I guess I did as an example. I guess you had to wait for the A button prompt to come up. Well, you have to mash to make the decks go faster, then you have to press A to make a uh, X go away. And you immediately get control after that. Who keeps emailing me? Must be Multi. Multi has discovered emailing and quit his job as a mail wall. Starring in his next game, Email Mole. One of these days I'm gonna miss this button. I'm gonna like ground pound off the edge instead. I haven't done it already, honestly. Pretty good run so far. I think most of my time loss has been to like menuing and mashing too much. And over mashing, which is odd because I, I feel like today would be a day for me to not mash as much because my thumb is in the big pain. Uh, it's almost like I've... I should really take this time to not do full game runs and practice a bunch while we're not on... Like we know a really fast patch is coming out that's gonna save us a bunch of time. But nah, guess not. I really want to stay in the flow of things for full game runs. Um, it's a bit different doing IL practice compared to full game runs and I feel like you pick up bad habits sometimes from ILs. Like restarting as soon as you make a mistake and stuff like that. I almost didn't jump there. Well, I, I almost jumped too late there. How about that? There are small as it going. Nice to see you. It's been a it's been a hot second. Not too much going on. This is kind of the newest game that I've been focusing on lately. Came out this month, so been spending a lot of time on that. I hope you've been well. Hope you're having a good afternoon. Could be head by a little bit. Cool. I mean, if we get past Coconut Island, then we can really keep this going. Working like crazy, I've been able to check, and that's fair. I've been, I've been keeping pretty busy with with work as well, but I don't have two hours of commuting anymore, so uh, I have a lot more time than I used to have. So I feel like compared to then, I feel like I have so much time now. Commuting just kills me. I, I hate I hate driving, so I like stacked on top of like all the time that I'm losing is just like I have no mental energy to do anything after that. So. Oop, land on there. Uh, darn it. I really want the beach bottle land on top of multi one of these times and just have it get launched into the stratosphere when he pops up. I need to practice that a little bit. Actually, not really. Because of the new patch coming out, the cycles aren't going to be different for this level anymore, so I don't need to practice the uh, cycle when you don't restart. I am falling into that problem where like I noticed that there's something I need to practice but because it'll get fixed in the next patch where uh, um, we'll be able to skip the intro cutscene for each of the levels and all the levels will be on the same cycle that they are supposed to be on. Uh, I'm falling into the habit of not practicing things that are wrong because of that <laughs> so there's a chance of things going badly because of it. That's a bit awkward. Here we go. 
go. It was okay. Um, I think I need to clean up this level a little bit. I think I'm not gonna do. There's a really hard strat you can do that involves a fairly inconsistent jump. Uh, you have to like avoid bonking off of something. And there's no danger to it except for like losing time every time you do an attempt. If you don't get it first try, it's about as fast as doing it the normal way. And anything after second try, I'm pretty sure is just slower. So, I mean, it is a 20 second level. Like you can only mess up trying something so many times before you're losing a bunch of time. Okay, we'll take that. I'm alright with that. Not really what I wanted. You can slide all the way there with all that speed, but um, it wasn't hideously slow. And we didn't die. Uh, I did mess this up though, unfortunately. So not the best spiky islands. But I think ground pounding there helps. Tiny bit. Thirty seven not the time we're looking for there. But it's under forty, so we'll we'll take it. I should be saving time no matter what. My P V did some shenanigans and decided not to play the game. Actually, I think my, my PB died in the second level. I think it just went straight in the water. I'd have to look back at it. My memory of my PBs are really bad. I kind of rely on my splits a bit too much with that. I'm used to running like 10 minute games, so it's really easy to remember what happened because usually it's uh, something smaller, but pretty understandable. Also, sorry if you guys can hear like the sirens. They're not too close, but I do have my window open to get some air in this room that traps heat. <laughs> do not hear speed. Uh, you know, it's it's the speed police coming for me and they're like, if I if I mess this run up they're just gonna take me away it's been it's been too many times of messing up good runs so uh, i got one more shot before they're going to take away my speed license thank you for the good luck hope you've been doing well i know we haven't talked so much since uh <laughs> since the wild animal sports day showcase but i hope you're hope you're doing well it's been it's been a heck of a year between then and now so Hope you've been staying safe. Some things don't change though. I'm still running games about animals. You know. Mammals. One of the best games to speedrun that's come out so far this year. I mean, it's March, so. Uh, where do we go? Oh yeah. I just fell off during that. Multi just bonked his head during the cutscene. Now he's got a Y inside of it. Rough dude. Bought the game I haven't played yet. That's fair. I do that a lot. Um, I think it was on sale for a while, and then I think it finally just went off sale. But yeah, hope you're doing. Hope you're having a good week as well, Paradox. I think this game is definitely worth grabbing. I know Zick's been running it as well and spreading the good name of uh, Male Mole. I've not been able to watch as much of his runs just because I've been hitting a wall around like 7 p.m. every day where my body just, like I get food and my body's already tired and it's just like, all right, shutting down for the day. All the brain functions are, are out. Uh, so that's been a bit unfortunate. I want to do longer streams. I might try to make it like a weekly thing and just like kind of have one like long 
the any percent grind stream. Friday seems like a good day to do that on, but uh, only thing would be since I think the patch is coming out on the weekend that's going to make the game really fast, it's probably better just to wait a day. <laughs> so maybe this week it'll be a little bit different. We'll rise and grind in the morning until the sun sets. It's pretty fun. It, once you get a feel for the movement, it, it takes a little bit to pick it up. At first, you just kind of launch yourself off edges. But once you kind of get a feel for it and you get in the rhythm of it, you really get a, a good understanding of how the jump works. You, you're able to do some really fun stuff. And I don't think playing casually really... If you... I've seen people finish the game without really using the dash too much, though. So. Even for people that don't get the hang of it, like they can, they can have some fun with it, but... Duff. Alright, Yeti Ridge. My mind actually just blanked and I thought I was doing the uh, first level of Yeti Ridge, even though I just did that two seconds ago. <laughs> One of those days. This is a bit of a long Wednesday for me work-wise, so I'm happy to deliver some mail. I like glided off of that. Nice. That jump is always pretty sketchy. Also because of the extra jump I had to retime that, but that's okay. Okay, good. Once you get to the end, this level is kind of relaxing. <laughs> You, you just kind of go in the pattern that you always go in, and you follow it along, it's nice and chill. It's just when you miss a jump or your or your dash doesn't go off, then the end of the level gets really sketchy and scary, and we don't like that. Hey Jamie, how's it going? Hope you're, you're doing alright right now. No, you're not feeling too well today. Pick for you. Um, hmm. I have to come up with something. I don't know, I feel like that should be more points. Um. What's a, what's a good one? I'm trying to think of not a generic one. Something, something nice and specific. I really like the way... In terms of what I've seen, you're like the for all like the rainbow pet stuff. I really enjoy how you draw all of the the different species of of rainbow pets. So I think you're the best at that. How about that? Is that specific? <laughs> yeah. See, I didn't think I was gonna have to put the legwork in when it- Oh, please, hello. Hello, Ledge, it's me, Multi. I would like to live. See, so I actually timed that correctly where if I was playing on 400 FPS, I think I would have gotten that boost because I, I saw like the little sparks of the jump starting right there. But uh, unfortunately we are not. A big zoom was there, but the zoom did not occur. I need we need more frames. I, I don't want that randomly happening for many reasons, so... Um, out of fairness, I, I don't have it turned on. I didn't even mean to time it that way. I actually messed things up, so my jump timing was kind of weird. Because you don't want to wait until the end to jump if you're not going for that, because if you don't get the jump off, you kind of lose your momentum and it's really awkward. It was a bit of a rainy day, but I like it. I really like the sound of rain. Oh, that was awkward. We just like snapped to the 
the platform. Okay, this is not, the level's not going super well so far, but it's not going awful. I mean, that hit there was kind of odd, but. Uh, that's actually fine. That is the best place. If you're going to die at any, oh, never mind. Well, that sucks. If you're gonna die at any point, dying here is fine. But not the way I did. I actually f forgot about the flipping platform thing there. That's really unfortunate. Probably be about even going out of here. But, you know. Gotta have a level to make silly mistakes on. Yeah, just take the hit here. Yeah. Not my finest work. New channel point reward is still not bullet pop out of the days of ruin my disappointment. Wanna see disappointment? No. I'm the I'm disappointed in me. I'm not disappointed in you. I got 010101, which is actually pretty impressive. But um Yeah. I I should be the one looking at myself with disappointment because I forgot to do that again. <sighs> I'll do it at some point, I promise. Yeah, I think we're actually going to be pretty much even. Well, not technically even, but pretty much there. So far, of the two people that have redeemed the new channel point reward, neither has used it in the correct way, but it, but I appreciate it anyways, thanks. <laughs> This is kind of actually how I saw it going, so... Oh jeez, I'm just dropping my dashes. Please don't hit the spike there, thanks. We can be decently ahead after now. Uh, not this level, but the next one. Rather have a compliment than request to be told you're good at something, that's fair. <laughs> then I have to think of the compliment, and if it's somebody I don't know very well, then I'll feel bad about it, because I won't be able to give an, a an actual, genuine compliment. It'll just be, the color of your name is nice. It's more of a meme than uh, genuine compliments being given in either way. Yes, Lost Waterfalls, East Station, Ancient Temple, blah 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 blah. <laughs> Get me out of here. Why did you have to bonk on that? It was not necessary to bonk on that, but for some reason you chose to anyways. Nothing can go wrong on this level. This level has, has no potential choke points at all. It's actually- I don't think anyone's ever failed this level before. Uh, no one- no one's ever done any- anything wrong on it or missed a cycle. Especially not missed a cycle. Oh. Well, I'm happy I realized I did not have enough speed to get there. <laughs> or I, I didn't have- I, I jumped a little bit earlier because that platform's at a different place. Um, than it should be, but... Oh good, I actually made that. Nice. Never ever. I mean, don't you see all these safe platforms with like foam underneath of them? You know, just in case the player accidentally falls. Oh no, I I just realized we need to, since we missed the cycle, we need to uh, do this really quickly because these platforms are about to come out. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Usually you have to wait there. You know, actually we didn't really lose that much time. It's 52 instead of, uh, 51. We should save time. We don't... I'm going to... write an angry tweet at the developers for not, uh, saving me from my own, uh, failures. What's that button for? I don't know. I think it spawns carrots. <laughs> There's a lot of buttons that just spawn carrots in this game that you have to ignore. 
Don't look at the don't look at the buttons. Don't be enticed by their circular redness. We are here for the mail and only the mail. The the carrots are unnecessary. We have a bit of a... Uh, I mean, the third turtle fight isn't too chill, but Dry Canyon's not too bad, so we've got like... Eight minutes to... Lay off the gas just a tiny bit. Minus all the mashing during this sequence. Please. I will pay someone to mash for me, this is no longer a joke. About a minute ago, or a... A, a week ago it was a joke, it is no longer. Please help. My hands, they're in pain. I need to get like foot pedals that I can mash with and just mash with my feet. Just stomp angrily and do text that way. I'm pretty much asking for a DDR pad, aren't I? Peking Boo, please suggest me a DDR pad for inputting text. Thank you. Peking Boo, the only person ever to be known to actually have a DDR pad. Nobody else has one. They have uh, taken all of them so that nobody else can have them. Really a devious thing to do. Imagine designing a UFO that can be destroyed by a mole and then designing the UFO with the same exact flaw over and over again. This is not a very smart ninja turtle. Oh no, I'm not very smart either, never mind. <laughs> or even now. They were they were really counting on me to forget how buttons worked and, and, and it worked out for them. Did I really lose like a second to No, I didn't I didn't lose that time to missing that button. I refuse to believe that. I don't know where I lost the time to, but I lost it at something other than uh, forgetting how buttons worked. Ever since I messed up menuing on that one really good run, killed it, um, I always take my time a little bit <laughs> when I reload area. Menuing is the worst thing to, to lose a run to, it just feels bad. You play really well and then you just don't know how to move one option down and press A. Maybe I need to practice my menuing. I just did a sit for an hour and just menu between those those options. So I watched people that were good at this level, so that means I'm good at this level now. Um. That's actually my, my best time of the level so far. <laughs> my best time before this was a 19. So I, I guess... I guess watching did help, because I cut my time down by like a second. With no practice. <laughs> Let's go! I absorbed information by- I mean, you can get like a 17 on the level. You can get like a low 17. But the best I had before then was 19, like, point four or point five or something. I wish I could do that. You know, I wish I could watch just like really great Super Mario 64 players and just absorb all their information. That'd be great. It was mostly that I cut like right next to a cactus and didn't get bonked by it. The unbonkening was successful. Radish, let's go! I should just jump really low and just miss the radish to be really annoying for everybody. I wonder if it's just better to. Oh, nice. I've never actually hit that cack just before. I uh, decided I did not want to do well. How much time loads take in this game? 
I think before when I had like a 113 or something like that, I think um, Glint timed all the non-gameplay stuff. And I think if you took out all the non-gameplay stuff, I think the run's like 40 something minutes long. I mean, that isn't, that isn't just loads, that's like cutscenes and stuff, but... Uh, but that number's gonna start going down because of some of the stuff they're adding. I have a sneaking suspicion that they're adding... I know one thing they're adding because they've said it already, but I feel like they might be adding more stuff. In the last patch they're doing before they go on vacation for like a week. I feel like there's probably some more speedrunning helpful stuff. Um, I don't know how much they could get done in a week, but we'll see. We'll know today. Probably. Because I think they're making it available to test out on the speedrunning branch. Am I allowed to tell you what I think is going to be adding? I mean, like, the things that people have asked for speedrunning-wise are... Um, Cutscene skipping, dialogue mashing... Um, just generally, like, speedrunning stuff like that, so... I would imagine it's going to be along those lines a little bit. I mean, I know one of the things being added is that you can do quick restart if you press both analog sticks in because that's already on the speedrun branch. So I'm assuming they're not going to unadd that. <laughs> um, so that saves about three minutes during the run, and it also makes deaths a lot less costly. Um, so you don't kill your run on one death unless it's like in a really bad spot. But the reason it saves time is because you can skip the intro cutscenes before levels. If I had separate spritz for each level, this level would definitely have been renamed. If you have time, if you have any donations, now would be a good time. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Imagine losing a second to an auto-scroller because you run your face into a wall. Oh, I think... I think that the run will be under an hour... ...sooner rather than later. I mean, the, the best time someone could get is probably like a 104. The, just skipping the little intro cutscenes before each level saves about three minutes. Maybe th like three minutes and like 15 seconds. Uh, so, if they, oh, whoops, if they cut down on just a little bit more stuff, if they do anything, like, that removes other waiting around sections out of the game, or we just play a little bit better, I mean, yeah, you can probably get a sub-hour run soon, which would be nice. Be more appealing to do for marathons and stuff, and more appealing to run full game in general. Welcome to the tree! Let's go! I don't know how I made that jump, but alright. Hello? That is not how you're supposed to do that at all, but whatever, we made it there in 19 seconds, so that's pretty good. You're supposed to go around the inside of the cannon and like kind of dash against it, and I just dashed the whole complete wrong way. As I spun around at the wrong side and gave myself a heart attack. A lot of stuff went wrong, but none of it uh, got me in trouble, so... Did I really do something wrong? The thing I went through the cannon? I might have. I didn't really look, I just kind of, kind of closed my eyes and let the mole gods take the wheel. Whatever carrot deity that they, uh, they praise. The big, the big carrot in the sky, really. I don't really have drink breaks in between these levels anymore. Once they release the patch, I just didn't realize that because there's not enough time anymore because you have to input something to skip the, uh, Yeah, let's take the hit here because of the checkpoint. I probably should have just dashed through it, but... 
Now, you might not have been able to hear the sirens, but I have a um, good authority that you might be able to hear the dogs right now. Um, just a sneaking suspicion. They're just gonna keep howling. There's nothing I can do. They're just gonna they're just gonna keep going. There's someone outside the door. So um they're gonna keep going. They're really getting into it today. They're having a great time. Hopefully no one's watching on speakers that has dogs, because they probably won't enjoy this. Okay, they're done. As soon as I muted my microphone, I was just gonna do the level muted. No, stop barking. I just unmuted. It's very rude. I almost just ate it. Twenty-one's fine there. Not like a good IL time, but it's a good time of times. No, I didn't jump. This is gonna be really awkward. I don't think my jump's gonna go off. Yeah, okay. So we gotta hop there and then, okay. We got back on, okay. So you need to jump there because it messes up your jump timings otherwise. If you don't jump before the cutscene starts, your jump gets eaten. It's just devoured by the game. Like, it just consumes it and it is gone forever. So you just fall. Thankfully there, it doesn't matter. It does, but it doesn't, because it ruins your spacing for your jumps. And it's really easy to fall in the, the purple ooze otherwise. Um, we're getting a gold split? Whack. It was, it was not a good scavenger hunt, but the other two levels went well, so... How's it going, Ritz? Also, the extremely delayed gold split sound. That are just... Everything's very loud around me right now. And I couldn't hear it. Ooh. Yes, Onyx does the ruing. She likes to howl. She takes it upon herself to... I see, like, little boxes in those cannonballs. I don't know if that's, like, supposed to be there or not. Okay, good. We didn't mess up menuing again. We're two for two on menuing. I'd say the worst part of this sequence, other than like the fight itself, is that your entire screen is just shaking the, the whole time. Oh, I thought the cannon wasn't gonna shoot. I was gonna be sad. Like, I don't know how I, I would have missed the cycle there. But, uh, yeah. All right, we're we're closing in on finishing up all the hard stuff with the run. I mean, we got we got the last level for Spooky Swamp, and as the name implies, it is pretty spooky. So that's gonna be fun to see how that goes. Ooh, I I hit like just the edge of that invisible platform, and usually you just bonk off that if that happens, but. I jump go. Who stole it? Which one of you did it? Who took my jump? I really needed that. <laughs> okay, I'm not. I won't be angry if you if you if you admit to it. I'll just be disappointed. Was that hard? <laughs> yeah, that's a. Definitely a me mistake. Oh no. I was trying to bounce off that cannonball. Can't be disappointed. I'm disappointed in myself again. Oh, I thought I... Please, just... Please. Just get the button. We're gonna be ahead still, but... Um, heck of a way to lose time. It's not an easy fight. Like, it's not a gimme. You have to jump onto, like, two invisible platforms, but I died on, like, nothing. I died on the... 
just not getting a full jump there. I was really far down the wheel for some reason. I don't know how I got there before I jumped. My other jump must have been just like pretty strong. All right. Ooh, that was really nice overworld movement though. That helps. We just went straight there. Got the full jump and I landed on- Oh, I skipped off the blue platform and probably got caught up in the wheel. That makes sense, actually. If I- if I skipped off of it. Ooh, speaking of skipped off of it. I just kind of went for that, I guess. Speaking of just went for it, I guess I just gonna get the faster cycle for the heck of it. Because why not? I mean, uh, I shouldn't have done a full jump there. That throws off the cycles for the next sequence. But actually, it kind of worked out. We're just going to go here, and it's going to be pretty chill. 30 seconds? We'll take that. I don't think I've done the quick cycle on a PB or on a full game run at all, actually. Nice. It was really sketchy. The jump over to the tree was not something I would ever advise someone to do the way I did, but... We got there. I usually just get the 16 second cycle. Um, it's, it's pretty chill. But I got, got up on the tree in like nine seconds, so I had enough wiggle room to make that work. There is something to be said that you could probably reload area and maybe do this a tiny bit faster, but it might also be a tiny bit slower. I tend to play really well on these level cleanups. But then behind after the level cleanups, I'll just do the windmill jump on... Uh, whatever it's called. What's the third level of carrot fields called? <laughs> whatever it is. I'll just do that, and if I die, I die. But I don't think I'm- I shouldn't be behind at that point. So I shouldn't have to go for that to keep the run alive. So we're gonna go for that. Uh, never mind. It's like it could hear me. It's wild. Karma does not take very long to kick in these days. We're just kind of going to go for everything, aren't we? That's a 17 second time loss, so we don't really have time to play around. I thought I ground pounded into my death, but... Alright, so we're like... 16 seconds back or so. 16, 17 seconds. I guess we probably saved time last split, so like 10 seconds back now. Nine or nine or ten. Probably safe to say. Um We'll see. We'll see we'll see where we are. Uh after uh Dry Canyon. I've not practiced like proper IL strats for Rocky Heights uh, in a little bit. I've been mostly doing a slightly safer route through it. That's such a weird dash to be able to get. <laughs> mm. It threw off my timing though for my dashes, so I didn't uh, get on that top platform like you'd want to. That's fine. I know how long this cutscene takes once we uh, fade back in, so I'll know what time we're back by after the loading screen. Um, uh, like, we're not as 
as behind as I thought we were gonna be. Like barely. Okay, let's just. I've practiced King Rat a decent bit. I think I can. I think I can play fine for the races and then just try to go ham there. And I'm not going going it's a gold split there, but that's all right. I don't know that my gold split's very optimized. I don't want to throw it away going for this right here. I don't have anything to lose really if I just go for it, but last time I tried doing this during a run, I failed it four times in a row. So I think I'm just going to take it easy. Never mind, I'm just going for it. My brain told me to go for it. Maybe not my brain, but... There we go, okay. That was a very carefully done version of it, but... We take those. I'm really happy that the it does the menuing for you now, because that was something I was so worried about was just killing a run to uh, bad uh, menuing and getting stuck in one of these levels for like 10 seconds, because you can't pause during this until the counter goes all the way down. These such weird splits to run against if I do PB, because one, it's going to mean that my King Rat was probably pretty good, and also... I'll probably be behind on most runs until I get to the uh, fourth turtle split. That's unfortunate to miss that jump. What? I was not trying to flick back that far. <laughs> I was trying to tilt back a little bit after I made my jump so that I didn't go off the edge. But the jump happened after I... or the jump didn't happen, so I just whipped backwards really awkwardly. It's unfortunate. Not the... I mean, the first race was good, obviously, because I did the skip, but... It wasn't the cleanest one. Coconut Island. I'm trying to think what the cycles are for this. What do you What do you normally do? We'll take that. These are just like really quick. You really can't think about the next level. I mean, I guess you have a, a little bit of time. It's not like immediately going to the next one. I mean, you have all this menuing and stuff. The one thing you have to, uh, I don't want to say it because I'm going to jinx it. If I say the thing you have to always remember when you do this level, I'll say it afterwards. The thing you have to remember not to accidentally do, but I'm thinking it now. It's in my brain. I feel like if you run this level, you probably know <laughs> the one kind of annoying thing that is also in the race level. So it's not the middle platform or cycles. Those aren't really that bad. I guess there's no boxes either, so like that's another thing that it isn't. Oh jeez, hello. Got swung out awkwardly everywhere. Ground pound to get on the right cycle. Okay, well we didn't hit it, so that pebble there at the end of the level in that corner is brutal. Takes no prisoners. You try to cut the corner a little bit and the pebble's there and you bonk your head and you go straight into the pit and you lose for like 40 seconds on the race. I mean, usually when I do that on the right jump cycle, I don't get bonked by one of the random cannons. Um, it's not too bad. But... Kind of got off cycle a little bit. The camera angle you start that level with is a little bit different, and it throws me off on the start. Eh, didn't make it all the way up. Got a faster cycle for that when I 
there wasn't even a spike wheel, or when there was a spike wheel there, like an 18 second before uh, this run. Alright, we have uh, bridges next, and then we're done with all the races. Uh, bridges is... I think the cycle's a little bit nicer during the race compared to the full game run. Maybe... I think of this one, yeah, okay. That disappears right as you get to it, so... Pretty cozy. Yeah, I don't... I don't cut across using the, uh, where the, the little alcove where those boxes are, because those boxes sometimes will not break and get in my way or all this other stuff. And not fun. Not fun when they don't break and you just like bonk off of them and then die. But I might just be doing the level wrong uh, in total. So we didn't save the full 10 seconds, but I also didn't do the skip really quickly for um, uh, the one wheel jump. Well, I guess I'm not running against the gold split. I thought I was. My one chance to stand up from the run. Not my one chance, but I take my hand off the controller and stand up for a second. Alright, just to like not play bad for nine minutes. Ugh. Not do things that I've not practiced for no reason. I think I can probably beat my gold by like 10 seconds or so. I don't think I can get um, sub 106 on this run unless I really just do some amazing things uh, during this, which I uh, don't expect that. <laughs> I did finally realize you can do this. I don't know if anyone mentioned that before, where you can skip that platform, but... I'm sure people know, and I'm just slow, and have not noticed that someone's mentioned it before. Oh wow, I didn't get a full jump there like I wanted, but we didn't die, so that's good. Not getting a hit there is really cozy. Really nice. Really just makes my day, honestly. <laughs> I hate, I hate getting hit there, because it's like such an... I mean, it, it happens sometimes, depending on when you jump. Oh, speaking of... Uh, well, I traded a hit earlier for, for that hit, so that's, that's alright. I'll take that. Ah, I didn't get the little speed boost. The little zoom did not happen. I'm sure you can technically damage boost here and skip some stuff and I don't know how worth it is because I'm waiting on this cycle right here anyways. Yeah. I was very tempted not to grab the checkpoint. Thought about it. Didn't. <sighs> I, I technically could have made do without it. I just take the one damage boost here, but I almost always take a hit randomly during the fight. I either fall in the lava or I, I get hit by stuff. Regardless of how much practice it, I just rain RNG into a hit. It's wild to be in during this fight 59 minutes in. That feels really good. I know my PB was here 59 minutes in as well, but I just think I didn't notice it. I was probably actually focusing. Uh, very sketchy. Uh, first fight. I did, I did not go for the intentional death and then moving during this cutscene <laughs> thing. Oh, I made him talk twice. Nice. It, it's definitely possible to... 
beat the first area of King Rat before an hour in uh, on this patch. I mean, I've been on pace to do that before. We're only six seconds ahead right now, and you just missed it by like 15 seconds. So. I don't think that was a particularly good... Uh, Uh, for people learning in class, um, if you open up the dialogue or the leaderboard and then close it at the end there, you can move just a tiny bit earlier. It's like very insignificant, but it's, uh, it's something I did by accident a couple times and then decided I should probably actually do it during runs since it technically saves time. I'll read your lovely messages once I make it out of the cell hole and onto the elevator. The leaderboard, yeah. The the point two eight. Yeah, Ed Strong's been playing lately and is very good at the video game, from what I've seen. A lot of a lot of people have been picking up because uh, Liquid Squid and uh, Headstrong both streamed the game recently. So if since they're both speedrunners, obviously people that also follow them are also speedrunners. So a decent few people. Caught the the speed buck. I don't think they're doing full game stuff. I think they're just grinding ales they enjoy, which seems to be most of them actually. I've not caught any streams. Oh, nice! What a interesting tech. Well, I mean, the fact that I was close to dying and then still made that jump. Idle streams are great. I mean, that's what I was watching this morning. I was watching some aisle grinding of a uh, cactus pool. Hey, I mean, I, I played cactus pool a lot better today. Like I said, I, like, I absorbed information about it from watching. I'm just happy I didn't die there. That would have been pretty sad. All right. I was like, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Please never do that again, multi. Ever. Ever! I've gotten some really weird cycles for those invisible platforms before, where it just seems like they don't activate for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Good recovery from jumping at the wrong time and not falling in the lava. Shoutouts to me for not messing something up for once. I mean, I messed it up, but I didn't double mess it up. How about that? I could have made more... <laughs> the You Tried Award appears on the screen. Jeez. Okay, this is not a good third floor. That was pretty, pretty bad, actually. I should be finishing at the top at about, like, 56. And we're at 58, and we've not actually completed the level yet. It's under a minute, you know. We'll give ourselves some, some leeway. All right, time for the sickest strat. It's called have the leaderboard up for like 45 seconds to save like a second. The best of strats. Welcome to Leaderboard Percent. Hopefully Cass is not here to hear that. She'll be a bit upset with me for saying that. Hit me! Oh, you didn't hit me. The scrolling leaderboard is more distracting than anything else. Like, not the leaderboard being there in general, but just the fact that it scrolls when I move. That's the most annoying part. I do think jumping there makes that speed up a little bit if you jump right at the peak of the hill.
Not even a second, honestly. <laughs> For being serious here, I don't think that's even a second of time save. I didn't even... Okay. Whatever, that was really clean at the end. <laughs> that was really nice. I should have just gone straight through the middle, because I had 3 HP, but like, that was a, a nice ending to it. I don't know what this gold split's gonna be, but it's gonna be pretty alright. Oh, we're gonna be just short of sub 106, actually. Oh, we're moving too. We're grooving. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's the last jump that you have to do. That was a weird uh, pattern of jumps, but that's okay. <laughs> Batty just zooming out of nowhere to the end of the cutscene. We'll be back for you at some point, 106. One day. Nice. 106.08. We, uh, we played pretty well in King Rat. <laughs> I said I could probably gold split it by 10 seconds, and then I, uh, beat my split by 14, so. Nice. Good stuff. Uh, I think it's been a week since my last...